Well, I'm in jail with a lot of minors. I got 31 other people in my cell. And a lot of those folks have been working in the coal industry. Their parents and their family work in the coal industry. And we can sit down and talk about this. And most of them agree that mountaintop removal is wrong. And they'd rather see the coal mining go back underground. So I don't think this is that controversial an issue here in West Virginia. I just think that people are afraid to speak up because of the repercussions, because of the way that uh, people will come down on you. Why is mountaintop removal then so attractive to the industry? Well, there's money in it. It's cheaper. They make a lot more money destroying the mountains than they would tunneling in under them. That's all it's about. It's about the bottom line profits for companies like Massey. Don Blankenship doesn't give a hoot about West Virginia. He just cares about the profits for his company and the bonus that he gets once a year, which last I heard was about $20 million. How long will you keep this up? We're going to keep it up until we win. And we know we're going to win because I think times are changing. I'm not the first person that's faced these kind of odds. You know, we wouldn't have uh, civil rights if people hadn't taken these risks. We wouldn't, we would still have atmospheric nuclear testing in Nevada with all the radiation going all over the country if people hadn't taken these risks. And they'd have cut all the old growth forests in the Northwest down if we hadn't taken these risks. So I think the risks are well worth it. What do you get out of it? I get some time off and get to read some novels, I guess. <laughs>